it is taken as some divine axiom entrusted to man by the skies the woman shall raise the family the woman shall run the household i was in a very prestigious institution of medical sciences recently in fact this very month and uh, the occasion was uh, women's day and as i was talking about uh, the liberation of women it came from one of the young women in the audience roti kaun banayega bacche kaun palega these very words and these words are not coming from some male chauvinist they are coming from a woman and a young woman and a woman student in an institution of higher professional education that's where it is coming from irrespective of uh, your your station in life irrespective of your professional qualifications it's been drilled very deeply into indian women that their life is first and foremost about the husband the kids the bed and the meals roti kaun banayega who will do the meals right so ghar ka kaam kaun karega who will take care of the household chores why do you need to have uh, so many household tasks what is this household for do you exist for the house or does the house exist for you hmm? if if the house is uh, such a big and unmanageable deal that it uh, consumes most of your time then change the house shift to a smaller one hire a domestic help hmm? or or use mechanized instruments how can this be the primary reason of existence of a human being how can a human being claim that she exists for the sake of the household laundry and the kitchen and and doing the bed and washing the linen and raising kids and making life comfortable for the husband and the in-laws isn't it all very nauseating we are talking of a human being right it's incidental that the human being is a woman we are talking about a conscious human being how can a human being exist for this purpose what do you mean by being the queen of the home what do you mean by the queen of the home by what stretch of imagination is that shabby home of yours a kingdom how dare you exalt yourself even in your imagination queen of the house all that you are doing is more than 50% replaceable by a domestic help and that's what you call as being a queen you know that's what happens as soon as a household becomes more prosperous the work of the woman largely reduces 
you hire a cook, you start eating out. The washing purposes are outsourced to a laundry. Right? You get a maid or a couple of maids. So you know very well that these things are very much non-core activities. The worth of these activities is just a few thousand rupees. And had these activities not been worth just a few thousand rupees, how could you have transferred them to a domestic help so easily? A prime minister cannot outsource his job, can he? A king cannot outsource his job. Equally, a queen ideally should not be able to outsource or transfer or hand over her tasks to somebody else. But we see that happening daily. The moment that queen gets some money on her hand, Immediately, all her queenly tasks are dumped on somebody else. So it's just that uh, we deceive ourselves. We live very lowly lives. And then to justify that lowliness to ourselves, we use such uh, decorated phrases, queen of the house. And these are uh, not uh, words used by just women. When men want to keep women caged, they too say the same things. They say, why do you want to go out and do something? See, right now, you are the queen of the house. And when you go out to work, you will be the dirt of the road. You know the kind of Arguments that they give, they say, suppose you have a diamond in your house, what will you do with it? Will you take it out on the streets? Will you ask your diamond to go out and do the shopping? No. You will just keep the diamond very, very safe in a nice, protected clean and decent place. So darling, you are the diamond of my house. You are not supposed to go out. Like the diamond you are supposed to stay in. And a lot of women get taken in. They don't apply any discretion. They don't apply any sense. They don't question such statements and the intent behind them. Mm -hmm. 